again and welcome back to my channel. So ngayon may review tayong product na hindi ko pa nito try ever. So ito yung uh, Kill Cover by Club Cleo. So I have here the primer and the foundation. And if you want to know the performance and my first impression of this product, just keep on watching. So this is what I'm wearing right now. So alam ko medyo mahal ang Club Cleo maang mga budgetarians, pero binigay lang siya sa akin ng friend ko. And if you want to purchase Club Clio, I will link her Shopee, uh, Shopee account or Shopee link down in the description box. So don't forget to check her out kasi marami siyang mga tinitinda ng mga Korean products. So sa kanya din ako bumibili ng mga Nature Republic. So meron din siyang Some By Me and right now nag-work sa akin yung Some By Me na toner kasi na pagka meron ako mga Pimples, kapag naglagay ako noon, nawawala. So, lumiliit siya. So, you might want to check her out. Just continue watching para malaman nyo kung ano yung mga thoughts ko, yung initial thoughts ko dito sa product na to. So, this is how the product looks like. So, you'll see there three items. So, you'll get a primer, a foundation, and a sponge. So, ito yung primer. And ito yung foundation. I know this would be too white for my skin tone. But what I'm gonna do is, I'll be bronzing my skin. So, para maihabol ko. So, let's see how does it perform on my skin. So, as you can see, marami akong mga acne scars and dark spots. So, let's see if it can, kung, kung ma ko cover niya ba yung mga imperfections ko. So, this is a sponge that comes with the product. So, medyo stiff siya. But, let's see kung mag lalaki ba siya kapag pinasa ako. So, I'll be right back. Babasain ko lang. So, the sponge looks like after ko siyang basain. So, hindi siya masyado nagbago. So, medyo stiff pa rin yung sponge niya. Anyway, it comes free naman. So, okay lang. Then, just use. Pero, ito yung gagamitin natin ngayon. So, you can see. Medyo matigas siya. So, unahin natin yung primer. So, it says here, Egg Pore Primer. And by the way, we're viewing Clio Kill Cover Primer. So, itry muna natin siya dito sa left side of my face or sa right side ng screen nyo. So, let's see kung wala namang amoy yung product and it comes from, it comes in this squeezy tube. So, may kulay siya as you can see. So, hindi siya pure silk. And let's try to feel it. Medyo may pagka-silicone-y siya ng konti. Pero hindi too much. Parang feeling ko meron siyang... And walang amoy. Parang yung amoy niya parang regular... Regular makeup lang. Or yung parang nagtatlalagay lang kayo ng moisturizer nyo. I can see na medyo na-dry, na-mattify niya yung skin. So this is half of my face with the moisturizer with the moisturizer with the primer and this is the other side na wala pa. So as you can see makita pa siya dito and then the other side medyo na mattify niya na. And medyo natakpan niya naman ng konti yung mga pores ko. Let's see kapag na-apply na yung foundation how would it look? Kapag ka nalagay na yung foundation magaglide ba yung foundation? smoothly sa skin ko. And let's see. And you'll get SPF 25 PA++. So, meron ka ng sun protection. So, and it comes in this squeezy tube. So, lagay tayo. So, medyo liquidy yung product. And kapag blinend, mukhang maganda yung coverage na, pero hindi siya full coverage. So, ayan, kapag bulinend mo. Hmm, mas mabang mo siya kaysa doon sa primer. Parang amoy, perfumey ng konti. Pero yung perfumey na medyo 
subtle lang. So, hindi nakaka-butter. Kung medyo sensitive kayo sa amoy, hindi naman nakaka-butter yung amoy niya. So, let's try to do ito munang side ng face ko na to. And let's use the sponge that comes with it. Gamitin natin ito. So, sabi dito, medyo airy. So, ang ina-expect natin, medyo natural finish from this foundation. This is one layer of foundation on one side of my face. So, as you can see, hindi nga natatakpan yung imperfections. But you can see na nababrighten niya yung face ko. And this is the other side na wala pa. So, let's try to put another layer and let's see kung madadagdagan ba yung coverage. Baho niya. Nakaka-relax yung amoy. Para kang, alam mo yung shampoo, alam ko na kung ano yung amoy niya. Parang shampoo na mabango. Alam mo yun, yung para medyo powder scent na shampoo. Kapag may siya shampoo ka, nakaka-relax yun, diba? So, ganun yung amoy na itong Clio. So, parang pag nagma-makeup ka, masasihan ka mag-makeup kasi ang bango na na amoy mo. That is kung hindi ka masyadong sensitive sa amoy, ha? Kasi ako hindi naman masyadong sensitive, so I'm good with that. Ayaw ko yung sobrang amoy chemical. Ito hindi naman ganun. This is two layers of foundation on my skin. And this is the other side na wala pa. So you will see the difference na nababrighten niya yung face ko with the foundation. Hindi siya full coverage. I would say this is light to medium coverage. And I think ito yung talaga yung nauuso mga foundation ngayon. So, yung mga medyo mukha lang skin, mukhang glass skin, ganun yung mga nauuso foundation ngayon. And I'm leaning towards that right now. So, ang ginagawa ko normally is in spot conceal ko na lang yung mga imperfections ko. Kasi I want to look Uh, I want to look natural, yung hindi masyado namang made up ang dating kapag ka umaalis ako. So, I'm good with this foundation. So, tapusin ko lang yung kabilang side ng face ko and I'll be right back. I'm done putting foundation. Two layers of foundation on my, on my face. And right now, I can say na dewy yung finish ng foundation na to. So, as you can see, meron siyang shine here na naibibigay. And Medyo malakit siya. So, I think, since this is a Korean product, Kill, uh, Clio. Ano nga ba ulit to? Okay. So, yung Kill Cover, yung Clio is from Korea. This is made in Korea. And as we know, Korean products are normally dewy to glass skin type of uh, foundation. So, don't expect na magda-dry down ng matte itong mga foundation nila. So... What we just need to do is to set it with powder if you want to achieve a matte finish. What I like about this foundation is mukhang maganda yung lapat niya dito sa under eye area ko, which is my problem area because meron na siyang maliliit na fine, or may mga fine lines na ako dyan. And I want to make sure na yung foundation ko is not too thick para hindi naman siya magmukhang mag-dry up dito and lalo na emphasize yung mga yung mga wrinkles and fine lines ko sa eyes ko. So, let's see. I'll just be finishing this look. I'll be setting it with powder since I have oily to combination skin. I don't like to end up uh, I don't like to end the day na meron akong sobrang oily na skin. So, I think kapag ka cold weather, that's fine. Pero dito sa ano natin, sa lugar natin sa Pilipinas, I don't think that would work. So, I'll just finish my whole look and I'll be right back. So, isa-isahin natin yung thought ko sa product, yung Clio Kill Cover. So, I have here the primer and I have here the foundation. So, I'm looking at my face right now. So, I think yung egg pore primer, it does the job. So, medyo smooth yung mukha ko. And I find this um, common sa mga, sa mga pore primer ng mga Korean product. Kasi meron din ako yung ginagamit ko talaga na, na primer is that the skin layer made in Korea din yon and i think pareha sila nang iniibigay sa skin ko i just don't know kung mas mahal mas mahal yung kill cover 
sa skin layer. So, I'll just put it on the description box if you want to find out. Pero, okay siya sa akin kasi may naibibigay siyang um, may naibibigay siyang parang feeling ko na maminimize naman yung pores ko with this uh, primer. Pero, hindi ganun ka sobrang all out na parang paglagay mo super keenness ka na hindi talaga hindi talaga ganun ka finish. Siguro kung biniyaan ka ng Diyos na sobrang gandang skin, then that's good for you. I think this would do the job. Pero for me, hindi siya sobrang hindi siya sobrang ganun kaganda. Pero if you want to try it, may budget kayo. I know yung uh, Kill Cover, yung Clio, is medyo mahal, medyo pricey siya na Korean product. Pero maganda naman siya. Uh, maganda yung mga review. Pero hindi ko pa natatry. I'll, I'll put uh, everything down in the description box kung mag-breakout ba ako or what not. Pero kasi dun sa mga ibang ginagamit kong Korean product, medyo hindi talaga ako nagbe-breakout pag Korean product. Kaya pagka mga western product, yun, medyo natatakot ako kasi iba minsan yung epekto nila sa akin. The foundation, as expected, I'm not expecting too much coverage from this foundation. Alam ko na hindi talaga maibibigay ng mga Korean foundation yung super uh, full coverage. So, I would say this, that this is light to medium coverage. So, hindi niya talaga natatakpan yung mga imperfections. You already have to do spot concealing. Kung meron ka mga acne scars or mga black marks or dark spots sa mukha mo. Like, like, like me. So, nakikita nyo hindi na masyadong halata yung mga acne scars ko. Kasi tinakpan ko siya ng concealer. If you want a glowy skin, a natural looking skin, I think maibibigay ng foundation na ito. Yung kill cover, yung hinahanap nyo. Pero kung naghanap kayo ng full coverage, this is not the foundation for you. Kung gusto nyo lang medyo natural looking, then go for it. Ang gusto ko sa kanya, kasi dito sa under eyes ko, hindi niya na-emphasize yung mga fine lines ko. So, that, that's what I really like. Katulad ng L'Oreal, na review ko, yung 24-hour fresh wear. I really like it, lalo na yung finish dito sa under eyes ko. Kasi hindi niya, hindi niya, nag, hindi nagiging cakey at the end of the day. So, this, today, right now it's already 6.43 in the evening. Pero 3 hours or 4 hours I will be able to uh, tell you kung ano yung mga observations ko dito sa foundation na ito. I'll update you kung ano yung performance niya sa skin ko. Sa amoy, wala naman. And added value pala kasi you have SPF 25. So, kung lalabas kayo sa arawan in the morning, then meron ka ng second layer of uh, uh, sun protection dito sa product na for 30 So, more than 9 hours ko nung suot yung foundation. And super oily. Yeah, there. Look at that. Let's try natin kung gano'ng karaming oil yung makukuha ko. Ganyan kadaming oil yung makukuha ko. As in, super dami. Pero considering na hindi ako nag-blot for 9 hours, medyo okay naman yung oil control niya. Pero wala na nag-fade na nag-fade na talaga yung foundation. Wala na siyang coverage. Kasi nakitang-kita ko na lahat ng mga imperfections ko. I've checked it on Shopee. So, if you're going to buy yung, yung actual size na itong mga product na to, I think this cost uh, around 900 to 1,000. Same goes with the uh, primer. Pero, uh, what I can say is, kasi normally kapag hindi talaga hiyang sa akin yung product, pag gising ko, makikita ko may mga maliliit na ako na bobs or maliliit na ako na pimples. Kasi napag uwi ko ng 10 ako, nakatulog talaga. Sobra kanto ko. So, wag nyo gagawin yun. Nakatulog ako with my makeup on. So, normally kaya natatanggalin nyo. I'm actually ready to remove my makeup. Pinapakita ko lang sa inyo yung actual na itsura ng face ko wearing the foundation for 9 hours. Lightweight naman siya sa skin ko. I don't feel any tackiness after ko siya iset. Like what I've said, kasi nung medyo natutuyo siya, medyo tacky siya. Pero nung sinet ko with powder, no, it's not. And then, nung nasa labas ako, siguro mga 2 or 3 hours, 4 hours, na suot-suot ko siya, hindi naman siya nag-oil up. May a little bit build up dito. So, I think kung gagamitin mo siya outside, it will not work uh, to hold up your oil if you have an oily combination skin. Pero kung nasa ang range ng skin uh, type mo ay nasa dry, then you will love this product kasi it gives out a natural dewiness. Uh, dewiness. It, 
uh, the price point yun lang, medyo mahal lang siya. But if you have the budget, then why not try it? Amoy, I really like the scent of this foundation. Kapag uh, nilalagay ko siya sa face ko, nakaka-relax siya. Kasi yung amoy niya, para kang naliligod. Yung primer, I think, nakakakini siya ng skin. Kasi pag unang lapat mo sa mukha mo, nung primer, parang wala lang. Parang hindi nang, wala nangyari. Namatify niya lang yung face mo. Pero parang feeling ko nandun pa rin yung pores ko. Pero pag nilagay ko yung foundation on, try ko siya sa ibang foundation and I'll update you down on the description box kung nag-work din na siya sa ibang foundation na hukul niya ba. That's it guys! I hope nakatulong tong video na to and don't forget to like, subscribe, share to your friends and hit the bell button para ma-update kayo sa mga bagong uploads ko. Bye, budgetarians!